Now a Team 5 investigates exclusive new developments in a decades-old mystery. 14-year-old Melanie Melanson went to a party in Woburn, and she never came home. Team 5 investigates Michelle McPhee on this scientific breakthrough and the new expert who could help crack the case. Karen Montgomery wears a unicorn charm on a necklace around her neck. It was supposed to be a gift for her niece on her 15th birthday on November 1st, 1989. It was Melanie's favorite thing. She loved unicorns. She never got to receive it. Melanie Melanson disappeared days before she would open that gift. Now her aunt just hopes she can put the unicorn in her niece's grave and say goodbye. We just want to give her proper burial. But that can never take place until her body is found, which is something her family hopes will happen this spring when renowned forensic anthropologist Dr. Bill Bass, the creator of the body farm, joins the case. He'll use new forensic science called decomposition odor analysis, or DOA. Prosecutors used it in the Casey Anthony trial to prove there was decomposition in the trunk of her car after her daughter disappeared. It's, it's extremely frustrating for us, and I just can't imagine how much frustration the family has. For the first time, investigators opened their case files exclusively to Team 5 Investigates. Interviews, notes, leads compiled in the decades since Melanie vanished. A glimpse into her life as a Woburn High School freshman. A girl is scrawling about her crush, an older boy she was secretly dating. I, I think about her all the time. This isn't just a job to me. Private investigator Mike Garrigan is hosting a fundraiser to help pay the body farm scientists. Their first stop will be this wooded area of Woburn, a spot cadaver dogs were drawn to late last year. That would suggest there was somebody buried there at one time or is buried there. No 14-year-old girl should go missing like this. We are never giving up till they find Melanie. The forensic experts are their final hope. But Team 5 investigates. I'm Michelle McVeigh.